As we said, a little bit more rain to come, but uh, as much as it's been needed, I think enough is enough for a while. Well, we've got some more coming in. You know, we get rid of the pollen, yeah. we get all the moisture, now we have to worry about mold spores. Mm. So watch out for those mold spores this afternoon. Uh, we have some rain on radar. Rather cloudy, damp, dreary morning in the upstate. Only 60 degrees at noon. The winds are now around to the northeast. And that usually means kind of a dreary weather. 58 was a low this morning, and the high yesterday afternoon was 81. Our humidity is right up there. It's saturation 100%. Barometer 30.28 in rising. Winds from the northeast at 14. And right here in northwest Greenville, six tenths of an inch of rain, some heavier rainfall amounts, especially out in Anderson and Oconee County, Sandy Springs, one and three quarters of an inch of rain. And Clemson and Wahala, over an inch of rain last night from showers and thunderstorms. We've got some light rain falling in western North Carolina across the mountains, 58 at noon in Asheville. They're low only 57 and 76 yesterday afternoon. Let's go to Weather Center 4 radar. Light rain is falling from Greenville out towards Liberty. And then northward through Pickens County, most of Pickens County seeing light rain up towards Lake Chickasse. And then out around Franklin and light rain across the southern sections of western North Carolina from Brevard up to Hendersonville, a shower around Tryon. All the rain is moving towards the north at about 10 miles an hour. Temperatures at lunchtime reflecting that cool northeast wind backing up against the Appalachian Mountains, 60 at the Jetport, 62 in Anderson. But south of the front, quite a bit warmer, mid-70s across Georgia, some sunshine in Macon, Augusta, and Savannah, partly cloudy, 78, cloudy in Columbia, and 75. We're still getting that persistent wind flow off the Atlantic Ocean from the south and southeast, so we're inundated with clouds again this afternoon and tonight. So look for some periods of light rain and drizzle, and with the afternoon heating, not here at the surface, but on those cloud tops, maybe a shower or thunderstorm. Then a cold front will drop down tomorrow. There it is moving through the Great Lakes with showers and thunderstorms. The northeast in great shape this afternoon. Behind the cold front, it cools off with high pressure. Plenty of sunshine for most of the western states with another Pacific cold front moving inland and onshore with some rain this afternoon. But great weather to the east across most of the plains. There's the front which produced three tornadoes around the Twin Cities yesterday afternoon. This will be pressing towards the southeast tomorrow. But through the afternoon, just some showers, some rain showers, and a possibility of a thunderstorm. And tonight will be damp with some fog and an isolated shower. With the front moving in tomorrow, the wind's coming around to the south and southwest. I think a brighter Friday with some sunshine, but that'll fire up those thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. And I think this front will sweep off the coast over the weekend, bring in some drier air. So right now, the weekend still looks like a fairly good one. Temperatures this afternoon cool across the eastern seaboard, 60s and 70s. Hartford, Connecticut, a record-breaking 32 this morning. 80s out across the Plain States and most of the Mississippi River Valley. And it's heating up out west again with 90s in the valleys of California and the deserts out there in California and Arizona. Let's check the forecast now for the rest of this afternoon in the upstate. Mostly cloudy, rain, drizzle, possibly a thunderstorm, 65 to 68. Tonight, mostly cloudy, some showers, 59 to 62. And Friday will feature some sun and some clouds and uh, thunderstorms. Most of those in the afternoon highs between 80 and 83. In the mountains this afternoon, mostly cloudy, rain, possibly some thunderstorms, highs 63 to 68. Tonight, mostly cloudy, some showers and fall goes 53 to 58. And on Friday in the mountains, variable cloudiness with showers and thunderstorms, highs 75 to 80. Your flying forecast, IFR and rainy areas and fog right on through Friday. The beaches will have showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Saturday. Water temperature 68, the afternoon high on Friday about 80. And the next four days feature showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow. Then we start breaking up and we see some sunshine on Saturday. We saw it, but now we don't see it. Now we see it again, highs around 80. And then lots of sunshine on Sunday and Monday, temperatures in the 80s. Ken? All right, thank you, Mike.